congratulations, Craig, on becoming an American citizen. Very proud of you. But there is one thing you got to do. You got to quit wearing those speedos in public for the sake of this nation. Stop it. I will never, I will never, and let me assure you, let me assure you, lovers of America, that I exercise my right to wear tiny little shorts wherever I can. Anyway. How come he's just jealous because I've got a nicer ass than him? <laughs> Craig, no one has a nicer ass than Mike Huckabee. Oh, yeah? Well, check this out, mister. <laughs> I can't believe he said he had a nicer ass than Mike Huckabee. Mike Huckabee has the greatest ass in politics. Well, he doesn't. Not anymore. <laughs> I take that. I'm getting angry about nothing at all. <laughs> Which is something my first wife used to always say as well. <laughs> I digress. My, my, uh, my guest tonight, I wanted uh, to have perhaps one of the most beautiful women in America. She's in a new movie, uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, which is uh, out on April the 18th. Take a look at this. <laughs> Please welcome one of the prettiest Americans ever, Kristen Bell, everyone. Kristen Bell. Good, Good. it's well. lovely to see you. I, may I say you look a little tiny bit French? I do? A little bit. You Could know, it with be the, the stripes? stripes and the boots. You look like a little kind of sexy French resistance girl. Thanks. But let me just tell you, resistance is futile. Oh, How are you? I'm excellent. Yes? Yeah. Uh, you are an American, of course, aren't I you? I am, yeah, yeah, yes. Though I did grow up on the border and both my sisters were born in Canada. <gasps> Oh, you didn't tell me this. You have Canadians in your family? I do. That, that's I do. Right. I have Canadians in my family. They're much like us. Well, they are. I used to think it was hysterical, though, that my sisters had to carry those cards that said aliens when I was little. Really? That said resident alien. I think you have to have your full passport now. To cross the border? Yeah. yeah you do. And you get a retina scan. <laughs> I made that right up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did you grow up? In Detroit. Really? Detroit, yeah, Michigan? the heart of the country. Yeah, I've always heard that Detroit's quite rough. Yeah. Is it really? It is. It's, uh, well, they make the cars there, and right. there's a lot of bad streets. And now everyone can reference 8 Mile. I grew up on 10 Mile, so it's two more miles better than 8 Mile. Is it two miles tougher or two miles softer? Softer. All right. That must be kind of embarrassing. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, people say, where did you grow up, 10 Mile? Oh, um, la da <laughs> When did you come here? Uh, five years ago. Really? But I lived in New York for five before that. Did you like New York? I loved it. Did you, have you ever heard of the New York Giants? Apparently their football team did very well at the I, weekend. I know, I watched it. Did you, are you a fan? I, well, I, everyone, in, <laughs> everyone in the room was rooting for the Giants, and so I felt I'm not very confrontational, so I did as well. But you're not really a fan, are you? No, well, sure. I'm not not a fan. Well, that's as good an answer as any. <laughs> Did you have any chili when you were watching the game? I did. Vegetarian chili. It doesn't make any difference. It's the beans that do the damage. <laughs> it's been doing damage. Oh, my Lord. Oh, really? Do you have that? I know. <laughs> it's, it, I was sweating. Everybody it. has it. Come really? On. I don't know if everybody has it. I, feel, I felt very bad. And my dog, like, because my dog had been sick last Blame week. Blame it on the dog. Well, I tried blaming it. I'm, I, I blamed it on the dog last week. But they had... The dog, the dog. My dog was sick last, last week, and it, I got up in the middle of the night. Because of the chili? No, no, the dog doesn't eat chili. Oh. Come on. <laughs> and then uh, the dog was sick, and I got up in the middle of the night, the dog had, had a little poo inside the house. And I, a you know, little one? No, a very big one. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, he's a German shepherd. Whoa. Oh, I know. Very big, and he always likes to march at night. <laughs> German, you know. <laughs> and... <laughs> But he had, and also, the, you know, anyway, he had a poo at night, he couldn't help it, and uh, he, um, but I got up, uh, and I thought he'd had a, I thought he'd been sick again, and it wasn't, it was the smell of me smelling of chilli. <laughs> I know, I know, and the dog's like, mm-hmm. It's hideous. I mean, he's not gay, but he did do <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, he might be gay, I don't know, he doesn't have testicles now, so it's kind of, uh, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. He, is he better now? 
Well, he's still not over the whole testicles thing. But yeah, he's all right. You know, you can get noodles. You can put them in. You can get... I researched it because when I had to neuter my dog, I thought, this is such a shame because it feels so... I feel like I'm taking something away and you can actually... Yeah, there's a website where you can get like really extra small or extra large. And I mean, ultimately, it's, you know, it's a pretty penny just for their dignity. I'm just tell them, get over it. <laughs> it's a real thing. Do they make them for humans? I don't. Do you need them? I may later. I don't know. I, that's extraordinary. Mm -hmm. so, but does the dog even notice? I mean, it's all the way at the other end. No, it's, it was me. What do you call it? Anthropomorphizing. Like you, when you put your... Oh, your thoughts into yeah, the dog's head? I thought, man, he's going to be so ashamed. Because you know I'm a major dog person. I have three I dogs. Oh, well, really? What do you have? Three rescues. I have uh, two corgi mutts, like little tanks. Yes. They, they're really the pudgy. The queen has corgis. Yeah. 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 Boom. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then I, ha I adopted a 13-year-old uh, a black lab from Katrina, and you're talking about pooping uh, in the house, right. which reminded me that she does it all the time because she's old. Oh, and you forgot? What? No. no, I remember every morning about 5.30. Uh, but here's the thing, though. She eats anything. She has no idea. Well, this is water. She has no idea. <laughs> What's you are adorable. <laughs> you are adorable. And thirsty. I know. She has no idea what uh, is food and what is not. Like, she's eating a deck of cards. She's eating a pack of cigarettes. She pooped wood chips for like two weeks. And I don't even have wood chips in my yard. And I'm thinking, where did you get this? Yeah, that maybe she's going out and doing some carpentry on I the side. I have no idea. I have no idea what she's doing. Oh, but my Lord. She eats anything. You, I, I used to have a dog called Joe that did this thing that when he was asleep especially if like I had my aunt or uh, my in-laws at the time over this dog Joe he would sleep and he had this giant he would sleep on his back is what I'm saying and he had an enormous I can see where you're going with and this. he just would like and, it, and he would dream like whoa, whoa, whoa like that. it was awesome that's uncomfortable you know what I should have got him was those little false testicles right. he would look spectacular just crazy. yeah yeah, it would have been like, oh! If it's going to be a showcase, Yeah, I didn't know you it. were such a dog person. Are you an animal yeah. rights person? You? I'm, I'm an animal lover. I'm a big, I mean, I believe they should have a lot of rights. But I've always been the person that, like, I... Actually, when I was growing up, there was a period when I was about four where I didn't even want to eat with my family and I would make them put my, do my bowl next to the dog dish and eat it with my face. Wow. <laughs> I don't remember that, but that's what my mom tells me. So I've always had issues. I, d I did a bit of that. I did a bit you did of... did it? Well, eating off the floor? <laughs> yeah. It's called the 80s. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Well, we have to take a break. We have to take a break. Can you hang uh, around? Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll be right back with Kristen Bell, everybody. We'll be right back. The right striker. Welcome back, everybody. I am. I'm here with Kristen Bell, which is my right as an American. And I. Uh, we, are, are you uh, very? Have you ever taken a look around America? You ever driven across the country or anything? I've done. That. I I did when I moved from New York to Los Angeles. Oh, you did. But I have a problem with geography. Ah. And when we were driving, I can't really... My mom was driving, and I also... When I'm in a car or in a plane, it's like a bassinet. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. You moved from New York to here five years ago, and your mom was driving? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had, like, a U-Haul of all my stuff, and I okay. didn't feel comfortable doing it by myself. But she partly she drove because on a plane or in a car, I fall asleep real quick. Really? Like that, you lights You never out. want to get a pilot's license then. That's I probably not can't. I probably can't. Yeah, no. But I also, since I can't tell where I am, and when I worked in San Diego, my girlfriends used to joke that because I doze off in the car, they would just take me to Mexico and drop me off. And I thought, that's not That's funny. not friends. They're no. not being friends <laughs> if they're doing that. <laughs> well, we were driving and we had left, well, we came from Detroit because we drove a lot of my stuff from Detroit. And we were um, probably just passing St. Louis and I went to bed and I thought I'd been out for like eight hours. And I woke up and I said... So this is Denver, and we were just, we were like half an hour outside of St. Louis. <laughs> Felt like Denver to me. It's, it's nothing like Denver. I've been to Denver. I've been outside St. Louis. They're not the same. So I've been told. Yeah, there's not a lot of skiing just outside St. Louis. No. 
I got to ask you though, if you're driving from Detroit to LA, what the hell are you doing in St. Louis? That's a long way out the way, isn't it? Well, I think your mom might be taking you to Mexico and driving you over again, the border. But maybe I'm t maybe I'm telling you we went through the wrong cities. Oh really? It's in between Detroit and I'm not trying to be an airhead, but it's in between Detroit and Denver. What is? I checked. I don't know if it is or not. I don't know. It, it, it is, is, isn't it? I, I just got here. I'm just a new American. <laughs> they didn't have that on your test? They, they don't have Wait, you got a got citizenship a at the circus grounds? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure that's legal? Boom. <laughs> Ding. American. <laughs> you got circus citizenship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like one of the, it's like the Legoland driving license. It's really, you know, it's useful. That's fantastic. It is. I almost know. brought you cupcakes, but then they said everybody gave you cupcakes and you got a lot of gifts. Yeah, you, you're, you're fine on your own. You don't have to bring you don't have to I was bring gonna. Gifts. What did you bring? What? Well, I was gonna. I, <laughs> I heard everybody did the cupcakes and I was gonna go meet. So it's like the cupcakes or nothing? That's what That's I say the way all the you time. do it? Cupcakes or nothing. All right. Well, Are you gonna get a mullet? Uh, yeah. You're gonna be a true American. Yeah, yeah, but not in my head. Are you. <laughs> You have to at one in time in your life. I bet you everyone in here has sported a mullet. Uh, no, no, no. I can't. Yeah. I, I don't need to Business get a mullet. This is in the front, party in the back. You have to. Are you going to, are you going to get a mullet? Then? I had one probably two through seven. My mom liked to take my bangs all the way to right back there. Did she cut your hair when you were asleep in the car? <laughs> Listen, we're completely out of time. Thank you so much for coming in. I should have asked you about your movie, but it doesn't come out until April, so come back. Okay. All right, then. Kristen Bell, everybody. We'll be right back.